I'm trying to decide if I'm going to keep these two Amy Kestenberg bags and I've always loved this brand. It looks really cute on the camera to me, but I'm looking at it. This one looks a little different in person than I expected. I got these from QVC. They don't do great shots of these things anymore. They've really downgraded the pictures online. It's so, so green in the front. There's some pink in there, but it doesn't really show. I like the concept. You see more of the pink in the back. But I don't really like this strange leather texture. It's not my thing. I don't know exactly what it's supposed to be, but the way you get those little bits that are sticking up, it just doesn't do it for me. This one came broken. This is supposed to be a, a, a thing, a closure where you press it on both sides to release it. This is what that's supposed to look like, even on both sides. And this part is just plain stuck. So I was thinking if I really adore it, then maybe I'll keep it and then maybe I can figure out how to reach in there and sort of gently wriggle it loose from whatever it's stuck on. But I don't even know if that's possible. And since I don't really adore it, and it's way green, and green is not my thing, pink is, as evidenced, I think I'm gonna send that back. Even though it's not necessarily worth it for the shipping, it's definitely not worth the price of the full purchase to keep it when I'm not into it. Also, I'm noticing other things. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera. Right where the bag kind of meets the belt juncture, right here, there's a mark. It's much darker in person, but it seems like something cut into the leather. This one functions, but I don't know. I've read that this is a hard zipper to open. I don't know if you can hear that or see my effort. <clears throat> trying to get that to slip, and that's not just because of the positioning. I'm doing everything I can to brace it properly with my fingers, and it's just really tight. It's like the metal is just slightly too small for the size of the plastic teeth coming together inside. So yeah, it is really hard to open that interior pocket. I think that pink is really gorgeous, and the leather is, but it's small enough that in order to fit my phone in, and I have a pretty slim phone, although I do keep it in a protective case, I have to keep it pretty loose around my waist, and I'm not really going to be slinging it across the front of my body because that doesn't necessarily fit my body type. These just might be two solid returns from what used to be one of my favorite handbag brands because I'm about to pack them back up and send them away.